LPG Gang, what's happening? Thank you for tuning in. Wow, that flipped over quick. Thank you for tuning in, Collective. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. Y'all know on the weekends, I get right down to it. If you need a personal reading, check the description box, you guys. Hit those likes, hit those likes. Hit those likes, hit that subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. Hold on, y'all, because cards fell on the floor. Because, baby, if this didn't flip out fast... And now I can't pick it up. These damn nails. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> All right. Really, spirit, really? Okay. All righty. Those cards flipped over quicker than quick. <laughs> Turn on that notification bell. Uh, yeah. Y'all know the drill. Okay. My social medias are in the description box. I have no other social medias. Okay. So please don't be fooled by somebody reaching out saying it's me asking for money and all that. I would never, ever, ever do that. All right, ever. Okay. So we have socialized. I would never, ever, I would never hop in your DMs either advertising readings either. Okay. So please, I beg of you, um, don't get scammed out here. Okay. So we have exclusivity. This one was like quick. Um, you can be confident that your partner is fully committed to you. Okay. So this is more so, see, because you just usually, I like to use this deck usually for like singles, but it could be situationships, you know, whatever, things that's not all the way official and all of that. So, you know, take it how it resonates, because like I said before, sometimes married people watch the, uh, the singles reads and, and they resonate. So just take it how it resonates with you, okay? We have money matters, okay? So talk to your partner about your finances to ensure that you have the same financial perspective and goals. Now, I feel like this could simply be that, you know, the person on your mind or a person in your energy may be having some money problems um, and they may want to deal with that before moving forward. We have I do. Two individuals with a profound love for each other and a desire to build a life together, continually growing and developing alongside each other. Okay, so let's see what is happening here. I also may start posting the collective reads on a different time. I'm not sure yet, but um, I may start posting y'all during the day, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. The Temperance card. Okay. Could be a Sagittarius. You're a Sag. The Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody wanting something to be a little bit more solid. Now, the Temperance does get... Whoa! The Temperance does get... Duh, does give soulmate energy. And I've said in other readings, the Temperance to me is like the Two of Cups 2.0. Because they're merging these cups. Kind of. Okay? They have these cups touching. Um, but these is literally like merging the contents of the cups. Okay, so the temperance is about bringing two separate things together and make it, making it one. Okay, eight of cups here on the bottom. So it could be a need to leave something behind. Five of wands. Yeah, there is a, a money issue uh, going on. King of wands. And it could be someone like needing to, um, needing their finances to be like a, a certain way in order to be confident. Uh, collective okay so we have the star the queen of cups and the death card so the star uh aquarius scorpio cancer so some of you guys you could be dealing with one of those one of those signs so somebody i feel like isn't they're not the most confident uh financially okay but i don't feel like that's going to keep them from like moving forward with you or especially if you're like separated from them okay um also get someone may want to like date you and court you too and that could be with the money thing like someone wants to be able to like properly court you um or do things in a better way or a different way than what you're used to or what you guys started out with knight of cups yes uh, five of swords here on the bottom more conflict so yeah there could be a, some money conflict uh wow what the temperance again the chariot the Four of Wands, yeah. The Ace of Cups, y'all. You got somebody coming on in. Could be a Leo, Cancer, Pisces. Uh, I'm seeing the Moon. Here's the Seven of Pentacles and the Temperance again. Could be a Sag uh, for some of you. <laughs> the Seven of Swords could be, like I said, somebody not feeling um, worthy or someone not feeling um, like they're good enough for you. Or, you know, feeling like they have to be a certain status or 
have to have a certain look because I feel like this person may put you on a pedestal because I did see that Empress card when I was shuffling. So I feel like this person may like see you as deserving the best. You know, there could be like something going on with this person's living situation too. But I also get to despite like this person's um the way they view themselves, I feel like they still like want it all of you. They see, you know, marriage with you. And they may even say like when I'm ready or when I get blah, blah, blah together, we're going to get married and we're going to settle down and we're going to get a house. So I feel like you might be kind of waiting on this person to do something or this person is like wanting a, a certain type of um, income or status or whatever uh, before they offer you more collective. And you may not even like care about that, but I feel like this person does. And I feel like this person's confidence might be tied to their pockets okay so you know it's, it's not really much you can do about that you can give them all the reassurance in the world it's not going to matter like you know it's it's an inside job like they have to feel confident and comfortable inside um internally for themselves okay and you you can say you can talk to your blue in the face and, and it's not going to have any type of effect okay <laughs> but i do feel like you have um someone here that is is wanting to come together with you wanting to um merge with you if you if for some of you this person may like mention moving in together too so you know just make sure you're ready for that uh collective some of you already live with this person somebody's coming with that cup though they're a cup of a love collective a cup of love mm-hmm yep the moon mm-hmm now i kind of get a very romantic vibe with this especially the moon with the knight of cups i get like kind of a, a romance and i got the same vibe with the star and the moon so you may um this is gonna be specific some of you may like watch the stars with this person or they'll reach out or y'all gonna have this conversation at night time I don't know why I'm, I'm the visual I'm trying to get the visual out so you guys can first let me show you guys a page of wands uh page of wands comes out I feel like this is more so like y'all's date because I get date here so like y'all's date like being outside and like you're looking at the sky or you're looking at the stars or uh whatever the case may be that's kind of the visual that I got so I feel like or that was like y'all's first date or how y'all met y'all may have met like at night or uh y'all were like um the date was like a like say you meet at a park right and then you just sit in the car like looking at the stars that's kind of what i get with this and that would make sense too if someone is having a money problem like the dates would have to be a little bit more creative um if they don't really have it to spend but i'm getting like a super romantic vibe here with the moon and the knight of cups with the temperance something very romantic um because the moon is a very, very, very romantic vibe. Seven of Wands here. The Wheel of Fortune here on the bottom. Yeah. If you have other options, collective, this is this person is not uh, going to allow someone to come in and, and swoop you up. Okay? Mm -mm. I feel like this person wants to kind of prove to you that they're responsible as well. So it's like, you may have had issues with this person in the past regarding money. Because I'm kind of getting like someone wanting to prove to you that they're better or prove to you that uh, they're not what they used to be or who they used to be. They may have been very combative too and mean, like, you know, doing the most and argumentative and childish. And I feel like someone wants to like prove to you that they're that they've changed. Uh, thank you, spirit. Yeah. Somebody wants, wants you to prove uh, wants to prove to you that they've changed and that they're they're actually more solid. They're on solid ground. They're going from this chaotic five energy to this solid four um if that makes sense so like i say you may have had an issue with somebody in the past with them being all over the place and being in and out and them not feeling safe or not feeling solid and so i feel like somebody kind of wants to prove to you that they are now in a better space um and if, if not financially lord the devil could be a capricorn um if not financially but you know emotionally and mentally they can provide something a little bit more solid for you almost saw the queen of swords i feel like this person is going to like wine and dine you to to their to the best of their ability thank you spirit because i'm seeing the five of pentacles there may be a money problem for somebody but i feel like they're going to do their best because and i feel like too this person may have like tried to avoid you 
um until they got their money together but i feel like somebody might be seeing that they might be running out of time like some of you your patience is running out uh with this person and they're they feel like they're running out of time so you, you know if you don't have any money it doesn't mean you can't date the strength card it doesn't mean you can't date 10 10 when i looked over it's just you gotta look, get a little bit more creative with your outings and things you know nice little picnic under the stores <laughs> the high priestess here let me pull another for the high priestess because i feel like that is um something that this person deems as hidden or you do i'm seeing like a lot of elusiveness now i feel like the elusiveness is the this person not being feeling confident with themselves even though you may even energetically know you may already know even though they're not directly saying it oh oh gemini's uh not gemini's collective i feel like this person yeah thank you spirit uh <laughs> why did i say gemini uh knight of pentacles ten of wands because i haven't did a gemini read recently um six of wands here uh on the bottom yeah it's a money thing like this person's not as confident as they lead on they're not as confident as they lead on and i feel like this person they feel they feel like you have put some type of spell on them or you have you put some type of voodoo on them eight of pentacles yeah to make them change and make them do because i feel like you change someone uh collective whoever this is you change this person it's definitely a money thing uh for some of you like it's they're not they don't feel like on your level even if that's not even true like they just don't feel like they are um you know, because sometimes that happens when you put people on a pedestal. But I feel like this person may be having a hard time financially. Because uh, I really want to know what this high priestess was or what they weren't saying. The Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So stuff, this, things might be a little tough um, financially for this person. And they are building themselves financially. And they may not be letting you know that. They may not be telling you that. They're just kind of like keeping you waiting and keeping you in the winds. Um... And then you're you're lost because you're like, is this person even into me, or is this person playing games? Why are they in and out? Why are they playing? Why are they doing this? And you know, it's because they're not being totally honest with you, uh, collective, about what is really going on with them. Actually, let me pull from the kicker. They're not being totally honest with you about what's really going on with them financially. Okay, so one, two, three, four. When I looked over, so that you know, pretty much confirms. But I feel like this person is going to try to like romance you, uh, even if it's not, you know, anything elaborate. I feel like it'll be within their means. But I feel like this person kind of knows that they've, they've taken too long. Baby, when I tell you I am fucking good at this shit. No, not good. I won't say good. I'm great at this. Like, I'm fucking amazing at this. Courtship, I told you. I feel like this person wants to date you, court you. Um, within the best of their means though so like I said getting creative with dates this literally says social life on here and this is socialized and this is talking about date and things like that um, and this is talking about dating as well so like I said I feel like this person is wanting to date you or you have somebody here that wants to date you even though they're not totally uh, confident in where they are right now um, collective okay so this one is talking about social life dating business casual meetings friendly encounters uh clubs groups and seduction Ooh, and then we have rich lady here on the bottom and this makes me feel like you might be doing better than this person or they just see you as that because you that may not even be true um but that's that's how they see you uh collective so here's illness i feel like let me see what could be um what could resonate on this card depression exhaustion that's what i get with the ten of wands here because someone is working tirelessly to build themselves like tirelessly someone may even have multiple jobs so i i feel like the uh depression is the exhaustion could also be the poor health too if they're not really properly taking care of themselves and then we have change i told you i told you some of you are is somebody going through a legal battle um or something like that that's possible too for some of you so we have movement, adaptability, relocation, travel, career change, and restlessness. But I kind of feel like this is like this person uh, changing. Okay, changing for you, changing for the connection or whatever. And doing what, what's in their means instead of just doing nothing. All right. So that's all I want to do, you guys. 
Thank you for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. Peace out.